Hello, welcome. I'll kick things off with some quick introductions. I'm Heidi Sachs, Product Marketing Manager at CB4. At CB4, we build simple revolutionary solutions that make the in-store experience easier and more rewarding for store teams and their shoppers. I'm joined by Joe Howard. Hi, Joe, Store Director at Associated Food Stores. AFS is a grocery co-op that supplies about 500 independently owned retail supermarkets throughout the US. AFS also owns nearly 40 corporate stores under various banners. CB4 and AFS have been partners since 2019. The partnership is a success largely because store leaders like Joe are really embracing CB4. Joe and I are joined by Mark Callanan, Enterprise Account Executive at CB4, who's been working with Joe and the rest of the AFS team. Hi, Mark. Now with all that out of the way, let's get started. Joe, I want you to take us all the way back to when you were first introduced to CB4 as this new solution your stores were expected to start using. We find that sometimes retailers are reluctant to add another solution to the mix because stores already have a lot to juggle and some are also skeptical about whether it will actually work or be valuable. Did you find that either of those was a concern or what was your overall impression before you got started? So it it, a little bit of both. I, I, I don't know if skepticism is the right word, but more so, um, I, let's see, what, what's a good way? A little apprehensive about using another tool, just thinking, well, here's one more thing to do, right? But um, I, at the same time, I love data. Anytime we can get data in the grocery industry is like gold because uh, that's where everything we're doing is going data driven. That's, that's where we know what our shoppers want. That's what we know, you know, how to merchandise, put things where, where they want to see them. It's a big, big deal. So I was excited on that aspect of it. Um, if, if there was some skepticism, it was just more so like, well, I, I got to make some time to make sure I get this one more thing done, right? But uh, as a whole, I, I was a little bit excited about to have extra data. Now that you've been using CB4, has that changed? I mean, can you give me a little bit of a sense about how, how do you feel about CB4 in general using it? I, I really like CB4. And, and, and this is the biggest thing that allowed me to do here is it gave me one more tool where I can communicate with each of my department heads one-on-one -on -one to get energized about sales. It's so fun to be able to, to have a certain item come up that go, hey, this store over here is selling so much of this. Could we do this here too? And, and it's been fun to be able to find those hidden items that you wouldn't think about all the time. I'm, the industry has changed a whole, whole lot since I've started. Um, people's cooking habits have changed. Um, people's eating habits have changed. In general, things are gear, gearing a lot, lot more healthier eating, a lot, lot faster. And one thing that CB4 has helped me do here is identify those fresh items that I never would have thought about that would sell here that now are. Um, and it's fun as I, as I talk to these department managers, say, hey, look, see what these guys are doing? Here's the data. Can we do this? And to see, you know, they get a little twinkle on their eye, like, you know, we totally do that. Let's bring it. Let's try it. Let's see how this goes. So it, it's been fun to have one more tool to communicate is the biggest thing. I, I like CB4 a lot. And another really, really important aspect that I was why CB4 is so important. They have to be able to get the items they want. Um, guests won't go to your store if they can't get the items they want. Um, and that's changing. That, that's, that's one fun thing about these last, I'd say about eight years, is the, the items guests want have completely changed what they wanted, say, eight years ago, at least in this market. Um, and CB4 has been fun because it helps identify that. It helps us to be able to find the items that guests here are looking for. Um, Another fun thing too, is it's not just my store. It's fun to see the comparable stores because maybe there's things here that we're doing that are working for us that they're getting. And, and, and that's been great because it's a win-win. It'll help those stores see what, see what we're doing here. And it also helps me see what they're doing. So it, together we can build our brand with the guests. In the grocery industry, we're always, always striving for those top line sales, right? We're always trying to find a way to increase those comps so we can keep keep opening stores, keep giving our associates the hours they need and keep growing. Um, you got to be able to grow those sales. And that's what CB4 does. It allows those department heads to be, here's something else I can do to grow those sales. It's a big deal. Have, how have you observed their sort of adoption of it and willingness to, to embrace data, as you mentioned, to uncover things that wouldn't be apparent to, say, human eye or human bias? 
so I have I have a good mix in my store of, of some younger department heads and some older department heads. Um, as far at first, the the younger ones they embraced the technology really well. The older ones they had a little bit of struggle with it. But as we went through it, it's almost funny because it shifted. The older ones look forward to going through it now because they've been in this industry so long without the data that now they love being able to go, yes, look, th here's the data. This I had a suspicion this was true. This is confirming it. Um, a lot of them have you know, 20, 30 years of experience doing this, but they've never been able to prove their hunches, so to speak. But now they see before sometimes we'll show them data, be like, look, see, these organics will sell. Like we had an idea they would, look, this will move, this is proving it. So it, it's been fun to see that shift um, to all of them to kind of get behind it. It's, it's been great because at first there was a little bit of pushback, um, a little bit of a generation pushback, but not anymore. The, the more they've used it, the more they've embraced it. And it's been a good deal. I would love to hear, Joe, a little bit more about what you were doing before CB4, how you were sort of spotting and finding opportunities on your Floor, whether it was through zoning or reporting or another solution. Um, and of course, the second part of that is how is CB4 different? The two main things is going out and seeing what others are doing, the eye test, so to speak, and actually looking at it. And then the only other report that I would say we used was probably that 35-day report that, you know, was hit and miss um, just because all it was was, hey, just item hasn't moved. There was nothing really else with it. <laughs> Right, so like a slow seller's report where you don't know what demand is or how much it should be moving, only that it exactly. Happens. Product placement is a big thing. That, in, in fact, there's it's been fun to be able to reach out to the category managers and be like, "Hey, you know, this isn't moving in my store because every store is a little bit different, right? That their building's not all exactly the same. I may have a pole that's right in front of one of my best selling items, um, or it could be on the very bottom shelf. I'm like, you know what? If we even move that one shelf up, I could probably sell four more cases of this a week. Um, a, a great example of this is I, I think one of, one of the very first uh, CB4 items we had, it was an S&W bean, and um, it was one facing and it was right behind the pole. And I was, well, yeah, no wonder we're never selling this, right? So we, we got that item one moved out from behind the pole. And then we actually asked the category manager, hey, can we make an adjustment? Can we move this up two shelves? He said, yes, and now we're moving the item. We've had good success with it. Talking to the department heads and kind of the other associates, do you think it's helped them be better at their jobs? A absolutely. They, it's so the biggest thing, it makes them more sales oriented. Sales is key and that's what CB4 brings to the table. It makes those department heads be a little bit more sales focused. It, it's fun when they get an idea that matches the data too. Um, a good example, another example, I'll just give you another one here. Uh, uh, we had a yellow potato that showed up on in my produce. It's, it's something we hadn't had. We hadn't tried to push it here. Um, but when my produce manager saw it, he knew he, he was like excited. I was like, I knew these would sell. This would totally sell. Look, here's the data. They're selling it. Let's bring it. And now we're selling it too. So it, it's fun to see when they get a little twinkle or eye on how they can drive sales with it. So that's like the employee side. I'm wondering what what you think the effect is for the customers. How is CB4 helping you um, improve the customer experience for your shoppers? For sure. And, and that's and that's the big key part of it, right? Because keeping those shoppers happy, and that's, that's what it's all about. Being able to get new items into the store is a big deal because this rapid change, we, we've, we've talked about it a lot, the rapid change that's happening and being able to stay up with it is key. Um, the grocers who are able to keep up with those trends are, are the ones who are succeeding right now. You know, you raise an interesting point about the tendency to default to old ways of thinking, as you said, or operating uh, versus embracing change. There's so much to do in retail stores, especially in grocery. You've got customers, vendors, shipments, like spills in aisle six. Um, the list goes on, I imagine. I'm wondering whether CB4 feels like a burden in the scope of everything else that you've got going on every single day. For the most part, is as long as as long as you make the time for it, I I, I don't as burden. I don't think so. It, it's because for me and and maybe other managers may might feel different, but 
just having one more tool that we can go talk to the department heads is such a big deal. It, it's fun to be able to interact with them to try and find their own ideas on what they can or can't sell. Um, I, I don't think, I think the time invested in it pays for itself 10 times over. I, I really do. It's, I mean, we're getting 25 items. That's not that big a deal. We're, we're, we're literally looking each department, maybe five items a week. That That's a good five, 10 minutes spent with every department head. That's not a massive time commitment that, that I'm not, at least for me, that I'm totally willing to spend with those department heads. I, I don't think it's a burden at all. I, I think the payoff is much, much better than, than not spending the time to do it. We spend so much time, you know, thinking about how we describe CB4. And I think like, we love to hear it from our customers. So I wonder like, if you were, you know, in your store explaining to a new, new team member what CB4 is and why they should do it, like, what would you say? That's a great question. Uh, the biggest thing, I see it as a tool to energize um, my team to, to think outside the box on driving sales. That's probably the biggest benefit from it. And there are others that we, we've talked a little bit about, but sales has been the biggest. How have any categories of the business been impacted? You talked a little bit about fresh um, or whether it's like a center store. Are there, are there sort of certain categories that that you sort of change your thinking as well. Pro produce has probably been the biggest one with CB4 that, that it's really changed my thinking. It's amazing how many of the organics, have, I, my shoppers, I, I would typically, when I first came here and shame on me for thinking this, I was like, no, nah, my shoppers aren't organic shoppers. They, they, go, to, they go to Trader Joe's or they, they go to the, the specialty stores, right? I was wrong. My, my shoppers were looking for organics. Um, it's been, we've been able to bring a lot more organic items that CB4 has recommended that are selling. They, they, they are buying it. And I was kind of surprising. A, a lot of the, the, the specialty juices that we sell through, through produce, um, you know, we haven't been giving them a fair shot so to speak. We were just like, yeah, they're going to shrink. They're not going to sell. They don't have a long code because they're ultra, ultra fresh. They don't have a lot of preservatives, which is great. But um, we haven't given them a fair shake. And that's one thing that CB4 has allowed us to do is go, look, this is working. Like the, our shoppers in another store, which is our brand is our shoppers, will buy these items if we give them a fair chance. And I would say produce has probably been the biggest category where that's manifest itself. Um, center store is another big one too. That there are so many new items with center store that we've been able to do for it. Um, that's really, really helped grow center store sales. So those are probably the biggest two. Some of these stores we have 50, 60,000 SKUs, and it, it's it's a it's a handful to make sure that you're having the right 50, 60,000 SKUs because um, inventory management's a big, big deal. You're, you're not going to make money if you don't find a way to get those items you can turn. And, and more, probably even as important, is minimizing those items that don't turn. Finding a way to get rid of those ones that are just sitting, because that's just, it's, as we say in the business, sometimes we have a saying where you pin a $100 bill to the wall. That, that's really what those items are doing. I mean, you paid for it. It's just going to sit there. So finding a way to, to not have those hundreds pinned to the wall is a big, big deal. Everyone who uses it, like, clearly understand it, its benefit, and what it does. Is it easy to use? Yes, it, it actually is very user-friendly. The, the app is designed very, very well. I mean, uh, like I said, I, I, at first I had, um, I have older department heads, I have younger department heads, um, but now they're all, they're all comfortable with it, and it, it's pretty user-friendly. It's, 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 it's not bad at all. I think it's a good tool. Well, Joe, it's just so awesome to hear how excited you are about CB4. We love your enthusiasm for grocery ops, and we can't wait to see what you guys do next. Thank you so much for taking the time away from the floor today to chat with us. If you want to learn more about CB4, head to cb4.com or get in touch with us by emailing hello at cb4.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.